This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Acura. It is a 2010 Acura RDX. It is a the technology package. It is a four-cylinder turbo, and it is all-wheel drive. It has 54,000 miles, and I'm already having seller's remorse. We bought this with 38,000 miles on it, and it's been my driver for me and my kids for 16,000 miles, and I have no idea why I'm doing this video at all. I'm insane. This is a dumb thing. Uh, <laughs> so I might have a little seller's remorse and not sell it. But anyway, let's walk around and tell you about it. First of all, the car is the best car I've ever owned by a mile. So again, I don't know what I'm doing. So if this video actually makes it online, uh, it'd be a miracle. Anyway, it's a beautiful car. Uh, we've had it to San Diego twice, I think great road car. Actually, and took it to Vegas also once. So it's gone on a couple really long road trips, about a thousand miles each. Um, highway driving is unreal. Um, lots of power. Fun to drive. Uh, it holds just, if, if, you, if you're completely running out of gas, holds about 18 gallons and you'll go in the city, you'll go about oh, 300 and 25, 340 miles on a tank. Got a little bit of fade going on in the headlights, just a tiny, tiny bit. Purchased directly from an insurance company in Reno, Nevada. Uh, they didn't have keys for it, and uh, they sold it on a salvage title due to theft. Now, if you watch our little uh, three minute animated video, you'll understand that it's basically attorneys for the insurance companies that don't want to uh, be sued by whoever buys this next. Uh, if you run a stop sign and kill yourself and find out that Geico or Progressive or something owned it, and it was a theft recovery and they sold it on a clear title and blah, 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 your attorney is going to say, oh, let's sue them. So well, that's what's going on here. It's lawyers. It's really stupid. And it's lawyers. So. Um, just a really pretty car. Those seats fold forward, uh, make a nice little cargo area. There's, I cannot think of any time that this car has ever done anything wrong. Oh, I'm having buyers or sellers remorse right now. I do not want to sell this car. Tires are probably at least 50% tread all the way around. We do have the uh, full-on factory key. I will fire this thing up. And we will go under the hood. see the mileage. There's the mileage. 54,586. Alright, let's go under the hood real quick. Oh, crud. I never even opened up the hood of this car. My guys always do. Anyway, it's had its uh, air filters, cabin filters, oil change. We uh, just recently did plugs. important things to see the uh, the VIN stickers there on the hood. That way you know that everything's original on the front end. There's nothing to report here. This thing is just a killer car. What am I thinking? I'm absolutely out of my mind. I'm gonna talk myself out of this here shortly. Alright, that's your uh, passenger rear window. The seat, 
seats on the center console here. There's your passenger front window. You have your seat back, seat forward, seat forward, seat back. Yeah, that's all it does. It goes back and forward and the back goes up. You can't adjust the seat cushion up and down. You have the full uh, manual. All that stuff is in here. Cup holders. Just a cool car. Huh. I feel like I'm going to a funeral. This is a huge drag. Let's see. Pet driver window. Passenger window. That's your rear window. Let's see. Driver rear window. Oh, you got the presets for the seats. Let's see. Here's your seat going back, forward, full seat forward, and back. This seat cushion does have the arrows on. You can go up. It's already way up. There's down. There's up. There's up in the back. Down. Oh. There. Seats are in great condition. Oh no. <sighs> There's come to a time when you have to cut everything loose or you end up falling too far behind financially. Or you just have to suck it up. I'm about ready to say, forget it. I'm not selling this guy. This is ridiculous. Sell this car. Here's your mirror. Driver mirror out and in and down and up. Other side. Out. In. Up. Down. You saw the moonroof work. Oh, boy. Let's see. Air conditioning on. Let's see. Let's see you go up here. See the modes there? Let's see that or not. I can see that or not. There you go. Change the modes. Turn the air temperature down. The glare is a little bit high, but you can see it very clearly here. This is such a nice car. Alright, what else we got here? Let's see. Turn the air down. Temperature down, temperature down the other side works fine. There's your navigation. Put it in reverse. There's your rear camera. You also have heated seats. That's high, that's low on that side. That's high and that's low on the passenger side, on the driver's side. Got the radio. Let's see. Let's try it. working here. You also have a uh, plug-in somewhere. There you go. USB port. And you got tilt wheel. You also have uh, paddle shifters on here. You can go to, uh, you go down here all the way. You can go to the shifters here. And do a little paddle shifting. I don't do that, but you can. Anyway, Hell of a car. I mean, gosh, I can't even tell you <laughs> anything that I've had bad happen in 16,000 miles. Nothing. It's all been good. And uh, it's been maintained perfectly. Um, my guys are insane, but this car, they know that it needs its oil changed all the time. And air filters and cabin filters. And like I said, about, uh, I don't know, two or 300 miles ago, we did uh, plugs because I was getting too close to 300 miles out of a tank and I thought it should get more than that and the minute we put new plugs in it, boom, the fuel mileage shot up. 
Anyway, if you want to, uh, let's see, if it holds ass to. Anyway, uh, if you want to drive it home, obviously you have to have plates and insurance. This is on a salvage title, so you can't do that on a salvage title. So in order to do that, um, we charge $200, and what we'll do before you get here is we'll take it to motor vehicles, the cops, uh, level three inspection, and we will get you what's called a restored salvage title. Uh, once you have that, then you can get plates and insurance. That's obviously mandatory if you're gonna drive it home. Um, next, uh, dock fee of $250 and after that obviously is taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 3% you come to Tucson you're going to pay 5% tax. That's your 3 plus R2. $250 dock fee and 200 to restore the title. Um, and you just adjust, adjust it a little bit if you're, you know, so if your state tax rate was like 5% then you pay 7% tax, 250 dock fee, 200 to restore. You pay by wire and ship. All you pay is the agreed upon price nothing else unless you want to add the $200 and have us restore it before it ships out. I strongly recommend you do that, but if you want to do it yourself, you are welcome to do that. Uh, just make sure you can do it with the Arizona salvage title, the bill of sale, and the vehicle itself. That's all we can provide you with. This thing is quick. I'm going to be moving into a Toyota Sienna minivan, which is a really nice car, but really? I mean, ah, crap. Anyway, deposit. Please get your deposit in. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Um, the deposit is $500. Once we get it, we'll put your name in a, uh, in a uh, banner over the vehicle at uh, wheelconnects.com, and you'll know it's yours. Last thing I'm going to say, although it absolutely has very little value to say on this car, is that it's out of out of warranty. Okay, um, in this case, it may or may not be out of warranty by miles or year. I think it probably is. I think it's a three or thirty-six on an Acura. But uh, nonetheless, there's risk in buying a used vehicle, um, whether it's a thousand miles on it or thirty thousand or two hundred thirty thousand. There is risk. Risk averse, please do not buy this vehicle. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen to it. Uh, we know right now what it is, and it's an unbelievable car. There's, I don't know any car that we've ever owned better than I know this car. And this is a great car. So, I mean, I can't imagine anything happening, but it could. It could need a, you know, an injector or a window motor or a headlight bulb or something next week or three years from now I don't know so if you're risk averse go buy a brand new one of these things I think they're somewhere around 50 something thousand which uh, is a lot different than the price is gonna be on this one <coughs> so just uh, keep your thinking cap on don't be stupid if you if you don't if you can't deal with risk go buy a new one um, if you want to buy a real nice car for a lot less than a new one this is the car um, but you never know. Uh, we're, we're not uh, fortune tellers. We do not know what's going to happen to this car in a week. Okay? Uh, we don't know what's going to happen to any car in a week. Anyway, that is all I'm going to say. It's a great car. Thank you.